What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and today I am here to clarify some of your many questions on this topic. Now in the past I've made a video about both of these things in Wix, which is how to add an online store and accepting payments in Wix. However, a lot of these things have changed as Wix has updated, so with that, I feel the need to update you guys and create a video based on that. So let's hop right into it. So the first question I've gotten is how to add an online store. So you're gonna go over here to your app market. When you get to your app market and it loads, you're gonna click Made by Wix View Apps. Once you do that, you'll see Wix stores. You'll click Add to Site. When you click Add to Site, it automatically adds a shop page to your website. On top of that, you'll see over here, I'll click off real quick. But this right here is your icon to manage your store. So you click here. And when I was talking about adding pages, we'll see store pages. So it shows your shop, your product page, which is where it displays your product. You've all seen a product page, your cart, um, which you could see. You could customize it to your needs. And then finally, your thank you page after they have bought something. Maybe throw an upsell or something on this page. So those are all the pages it adds to your shop. You can add another page. Uh, again, you could customize Wix however you want it, but these are the pre-default pages that they add. Next, we're gonna go to the store manager. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click manage your store. On here, you will see your products completely displayed all of your products you could choose how you want to show your products like on here if you have collections it'll show a list of your collections and you could display your products based on that you could search products based off your SKU all of that to add a product you would simply go up here click add a product input all of your product information your pricing your inventory your pictures a description um, uh, shipping all of that type of stuff so it's very customizable which has come a long way with that I'm gonna press cancel because I don't have a product to add moving on collections so if you're selling apparel for example maybe you'll have a summer collection a fall collection stuff like that and then it allows you to group your products and collections which is convenient and a lot of times good for your potential customers as it'll make their life a lot easier next we're gonna see orders so this is where all of your orders will be um, and when people buy you'll be able to see what they bought uh, the price they paid where it's shipping to all of that information right here now I would like to highlight something because this is where it comes into pricing and accepting payments which a lot of you have asked so it says to accept payments or online orders from your customers upgrade to an e-commerce plan to use wix's paid like payment gateway you need to upgrade to their e-commerce plan however i will show you in a second a way that allows you to go around that if you don't want to accept credit cards directly which is paypal and they have now integrated it into the store which i'll show you However, I recommend spending the few extra dollars and accepting payments through the Wix gateway because it'll make your life easier and it will be a lot easier on the customers. That is personal opinion, but I wanted to clarify that. Moving on in here, we have coupons. So to add a coupon, you simply click add a coupon. And then it's really cool. You could choose a money discount, a percent discount, free shipping, a sale price, or maybe a buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off, something like that. So it's really cool, actually. Um, Wix has come a long way with this online store. I definitely recommend using coupons to promote your store, start up, getting out there. Um, and Wix makes it very easy to do so. Okay, so now the payments these are your different payment options you can use credit cards this is the method I was telling you about which you need an e-commerce plan to do next is PayPal you would click connect if you have a PayPal account you would click yes and then connect your PayPal account um, and that's how you could accept payments using PayPal 
and then offline payments is like cash if you're like have a store outside of your online store you could accept offline payments but in order for you to actually accept credit cards again which you can use PayPal for but in order for you to use credit cards directly on your website you need to upgrade to an e-commerce plan so that is how you accept payments in Wix finally we'll move on to shipping and tax this is where you choose like domestic shipping international you could add new rules pretty simple to do you go through customize it to your shipping needs and then finally store settings this is where you enter your store name the currency you have the price format shipping formats the basic information about your store your address and then all of your policies which you'll create if you check on right there so it's very simple Wix has now made it a heck of a lot easier and a lot more fun and exciting to add a store so I hope this video helped you guys out no it's been a bit lengthy but I wanted to clarify those two videos into one thank you guys very much if this video helped you out please leave a like also you'll see that I created a poll with YouTube cards so if all my Wix videos are helping you out please take that quick poll just clicking that info button on the top right of the video and click yes or no if my videos are helping you out finally please don't sub forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube because I have a ton of new exciting Wix content coming out and I'm here to help you guys out and comment any questions you have down below as I want to help you uh, succeed here on building your website in Wix. Thank you guys very much. Have a great rest of your day and keep on building that website.